So this is a thing, and it happened. Last night, me and a couple buddies decided to go out street drifting. Everything was going perfect until Weep Trash decided to find a sign that I didn't see. <laughs> the lot that we were at, it was pitch black outside. I really didn't look around the place too much and check my surroundings. And I went a little wide on a specific corner, and I dirt dropped, and I thought it was just going to be a one-wheel dirt drop. But I ended up completely dropping my back wheels off, sliding back enough to hit a giant wooden sign. <laughs> when my ass end hit, my car kicked the ass end up in the air, did like a 90, landed, and then spun. So I hit it pretty fucking hard. <laughs> but I ended up hitting it perfectly, if that makes sense to where I hit just far enough back to where I miss my gas tank door, so my gas tank's fine. Down here, I barely scuff the actual tank, but no cracks or leaks. And if I would've hit any further back here, it would've pushed my whole rear end to the side. My trunk fitment is still good. My taillight fitment is still good. The rear frame rails are still good. I lucked out. My car, it's still straight. Normally when you do an ass tap like this, it will push your whole rear end to the side to where nothing aligns anymore. But I hit it perfectly to where it just pushed in this fender. I honestly don't know how I'm going to go about dealing with this, but it fucking sucks. <laughs> There's a little bit better idea. Stock body line, smashed. This is the cleanest trunk lid I've ever seen for a coupe, and I fucked it up. <laughs> but if you can see here, taillight fitment, solid. This is all solid. It's kind of hard to see, but this is all solid. This is fine. I lucked the fuck out. Normally, when you do a hit like that, you know your chassis tweaked. See, somewhere in this area is dented in, because from the rear end moving, this part of the car won't move, but this part will, so it kind of bends this out. You can see a dent right here. But I lucked the fuck out, and it's straight. My biggest issue right now is I need to be able to open my trunk lid, but my quarter panel is kind of wedged over it, so I can't really just pop it. Here's an idea of how lucky I am. All of this carnage. Come down here to even more carnage. This is my gas tank. And all I did was scuff it up. I am a very lucky fucking man. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do about this because I really hate over fenders and I've never wanted over fenders. And I've always been so proud of how clean of a car I had. I mean, it was rusty, yeah, it had its issues, but the chassis was straight, the body lines were straight. Well, that's kind of gone now. <laughs> but I really don't know what to do here because I don't want to run over fenders but I don't think I will ever get this pulled back enough to be just like a bondo and like cleaned up a little bit. Another big thing that I'm super sad about with this is I was trying to talk to the people who run NMSTL, the convention I go to, and see if I can find a way to park my car up front by the front door so people can see it and take pictures of it. But I don't think I can really do that now because uh, the car looks like shit. <laughs> and if I do put over fenders on it, it covers up all of my decals pretty much. So it would be just shitty. And I still, I don't want to do over fenders, but fuck, it might have to happen. I just really don't want to. I really don't know what I'm going to do today. I guess just keep looking at this and seeing how much I can kind of get pushed out just with, I don't know, kicking it and using a small hammer, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much. <laughs> There's actually Bondo right here. Holy shit, this is Bondo. Maybe my car wasn't that clean. <laughs> 
Got a little bit of hammering done and uh, the trunk is kind of straight. <laughs> uh, I hammered a little bit on the big section from the inside and I just, I'm gonna need a bigger hammer. The gas door also was uh, closed and wouldn't open. I'm guessing this little trigger right here got smashed somewhere to where it won't pop anymore. So just not gonna have the gas door for a while. And another thing I need to figure out is it fucked this fender fitment up to where I rub really bad. So I'm gonna have to uh, bust out a fender roller or a baseball bat or something and see if I can get it pulled out of it because it rubs no matter what you do other than driving in just a straight line. So. More things to work on. This kind of sucks too. It, uh, from the rear end being pushed in, it actually flexed to this part of the quarter end to where now it's a big ass gap that I can like stick my hand in, which I have no idea how I would ever fix that with just without doing over fenders. So, also my BN style back bumper that I had, the super dope one, she gone. Like. She on the side of the highway somewhere gone and a lot of pieces. So rip that, gonna need to buy a new bumper if I ever get this pulled out enough to be able to run a bumper again. Pro tip, run the stock fucking bash bar if you don't have an aftermarket one because that's probably what saved my car because that goes into your frame rails and it takes the impact from one side and pushes the pressure also on the other side so it's like double the stopping force. So run that shit keep it because now I can keep running my bash bar and it comes out just fine. Get one of these things. If you don't have one, get one. It's fucking awesome. Also, I'm pretty sure my tail light still works. The circuit board fell out when it happened so I didn't have a tail light, but I'm about to pop it back in and see if all the lights work. Also, my weak ass battery box that I just had self tapped in broke out again. So I think it's time this winter to get a weld in battery box and I will probably make a video on doing that. But Weeb Trash is officially trash. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later.